right, let me tell you a little story. Jack Henderson, Henderson Advocacy. If a partner to the worst investments ever, how do you explain this? Ooh, that's good. If we invested 77,000 in 1998, over a 24 year period, compounding at 10.8% annualized, the end result is $902,000. South here, 46. Far Beach Ave. So we're just over 6.2 million. This block of land here, no views, south facing, no house, five and a half million. So we bought that place just then, which is going to be a future development, 3.1 million. This is what it will look like when it's done. That house right there is probably worth somewhere between six and a half to seven million bucks. So tell me, how's the property search gone today? Right. That's an open-ended question. Yeah. You would say, how's the property search going today? Are you struggling? The way that you talk less is just by asking them <coughs> questions More which allows them to talk. Something yeah. that I used to be really bad at would have, is the same thing. I'd answer the question for them yeah. and I would put words in their mouth. And the reason we do it is because we feel like we need to put context for what, behind what we're saying, yeah. but it wrecks the question. We'll ask a question and then we explain the question to them. It's like, how's the property yeah. search been going? As most people know, the current property market in most states around Australia right now is not a market where we're seeing a significant amount of growth. So we're gonna to have to build the strategy to be able to suit what's happening in the market. The investors has been a good addition to our business. How's Jack? He's making some big moves for himself at the moment. But we're lucky enough to live in New South Wales, which is the strongest property market, Sydney in particular, and has been for the last 150 years. I like to bet with history and what history has shown us and taking the right steps, don't worry. Put a gas kitchen down here. You basically lost this whole. Don't let opportunity drive by. And the way that I paid for my E63 mobile phone was I used to go and help her clean every Wednesday the Gazette newspaper in the in the Hawkesbury. We used to clean their offices. So on a Wednesday, we'd go and have her clean. I'd change the big bags and people's desks. Get the helicopter, mate. Go and jump in the chopper. Fly up. <laughs> That's it. As we come into the spring and summer months, you're gonna see a lot more properties come to the market, a lot more opportunities out there. As we get closer and closer to Christmas, it's gonna be a really good time to be buying. What were the countries you went to? Portugal, Cyprus, Croatia, Spain, Italy, France, Montenegro, Bosnia, Turkey, Greece, I've said Greece. Favourite place? Probably Eos Island, Greece. I'm gonna stop in and get a car wash first though. Just the outside please. 500 grand worth of available equity within my investments, do I use all that 500 grand to buy more property or would I diversify that 500 grand into other assets? So what I'm gonna do first is with that equity, use that as deposits for another few property purchases. If you're buying an investment and you're buying an apartment, always go for the boutique stuff. For an owner occupier in this location, because it is only five units, Strata is the way it is. But um, it's a really good block. It was originally a two bed apartment, which they converted the second bed into living space. So it creates a lot more space if you don't need that extra bedroom, which I recommend. But obviously for resale and for renting, having the second bedroom is better. Acquiring a lot of debt, carrying that debt, and then being able to work out how you get rid of the debt or pay it get the debt to pay for itself. The aim of the game, like Jack mentioned, is to accumulate as much debt as possible, but everyone's got their own recipe they need to follow based on their current baseline. The great thing about real estate though is the amount of leverage that you can get. Physical, physical. Here's the trick of the day. Uh, it's going, going. Yeah? When you make an espresso, 
Okay, I'll learn from them right now. Releasing juice. So he did put hot water into the cup. Yeah, of course. That's okay, so he's gonna warm the cup. Yeah. So you drink espresso, this cup is nice and warm. And you drink espresso. Oh man, look, look at the cream. You can spread like a butter, you know? <laughs> I can spread in my head like a shampoo. <laughs> <laughs>